Hello everybody and welcome back to Space Engineers Survival episode 54 I think. I've lost track, it could be 55. We are back on Luna or oh, look at the spectacular, hang on, look at the spectacular views. Ladies and gentlemen, I have today with me something that has been absent for too long on this channel. An exquisite brew. Oh, crikey, that's hot. All right, maybe, maybe not, maybe not just yet. Okay, we're gonna savor it. So, yeah, welcome back to the survival series. So, last episode we laid out the foundations uh, for what will be. What for? Hmm. Hang on a minute. Yeah, for what will become our lunar colony. Um. So. Whoa, when did I never get that world at all? So, in this episode, we're going to be sort of flushing it out, right? We're going to be enhancing it. Have we made some steel plates? Oh, we have. Probably going to need quite a bit more, to be honest. Just assessing the, uh, the situation here. So, I mean, we should have this done in a jiffy. I mean, if we just look at the speed of this, like, you know. Look at this, look at the speed. Then we can actually start adding bits onto it. I don't want to make it an all-in-one base, though. So this will just be, we'll have a rover here. Obviously, the landing pad there, which is quite a nice touch, I think. Um, and then we'll just have basic production here, I think. Or should we have, like, an outrigger? Maybe it's worth having like a, uh, yeah, out back. We'll have a solar farm there for power generation. That's another thing we didn't think about. Uh, I feel like hydrogen would be better though. Yeah, we're going to go with hydrogen. Why not? It makes more sense if you think about it. Because um, obviously we've got the ice field just uh, behind the base. So we'll put hydrogen power plant here, forgot the word there, um, and then over here we have the, that other thing that I was talking about a few seconds ago, which I've forgotten, what was I talking about, fucking hell, I chat some shit, uh, refinery and assembler I think, yeah, that was it, oh, what a day, what a day, we've had a bank holiday upon bank holiday here in England land, we had the coronation, this will probably could be going up on Tuesday, so yeah, we had the coronation on Saturday, not gonna lie, I didn't really watch it. Uh, it stuck my head in a little bit. It was interesting. Um, but yeah, I didn't really read too much into it, to be honest. These should be interior. What am I doing? What am I doing? I'm wasting resources. And we can weld up the bottom. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Genius, genius. This thing is is really coming together quite quickly. I'm amazed. I'm staggered. I was just wondering as well, is it worth having a landing pad for the Orville? Maybe. I don't think so though, because it's it's not I don't think um it's gonna be the be all end all, do you know what I mean? I feel like we should have some some sort of similar thing to the, the uh J class career, like a little shuttle that we can go around in. I don't think this should be the... I feel like this should be the pioneer, do you know what I mean? Like, checking out new territories and stuff. Also, where are the cargo ships? And like, the, the bases and stuff. I need to check. I might have muddled something up with the spawn system here. I'll have to consult the Yogussi. Because stuff should be spawning and it's not. These hitboxes are... Interesting. Why is there a gap there? Oh, was I, um... It's probably welding up the floor, wasn't I? Yeah, I feel like we should have something similar to the J-Class. A large grid with a jump drive. That's relatively... Small. A small large grid. If that makes any sense. The J-Class courier, basically, is what, I'm, is what I'm trying to get across here. 
Wow, we've we've almost thrown this thing up. Um, yeah. Do you remember how long it took us to build the asteroid base? It was like three, maybe four. Hang on a minute. What's going on here? What's this? Three, maybe four episodes. And then we've just shit this thing out. In less than one episode. What is that? Why is that there? These are interior. Yeah, so I did it right up here. Oh, we can't get to the bottom bit. We're going to have to do it layer by layer. Augers have layers. Can we reach it? Yo, come on, going for 20 points! <gasps> Fuck. <laughs> yes. I also see a lot of people, like, quite a lot, like more people than I expected, uh, waiting on the, the PS5 pre-order. Um, I, th I don't think it's out yet. I don't, really, I don't really keep tabs on it anymore because these updates are becoming like a yearly thing now. <laughs> don't, let, don't let me put you off though, guys. All right, all right, all right. But no, no. Uh, I just want to say a big welcome to... Uh, all the PS5 players. I sometimes do envy the fact that you guys would be able to sit on your couch and play Space Engineers, but at the same time, I I can't use a controller for the life of me, man. I mean, I tried, I tried. Like I played um, uh, like some games on the Switch that require aiming, um, like the Plants vs Zombies Battle for Neighborville on the Switch. Man, <laughs> I cannot aim with a controller. <laughs> the only games I can play with a controller are like Pokemon. Like that's that's as far as I could go with a controller. I used to be like pretty cracked at like Call of Duty on the with the controller, but I, I just could not play a game that requires any level of of controller hand eye coordination. It's simply not possible. Um, so. More power to you for for actually being able to do that if you can. But yeah, you'll uh, you'll have. I don't know where they're going to be up to in terms of updates. I'm pretty sure it's the same. Like you you caught up to PC and stuff. So yeah, I'm sure you guys will will thoroughly enjoy the experience. It's a cracking game. This I have to say. Um, if you've watched this series, you've basically seen the game with very little mods. I used a couple mods here and there, but none of them are popping up at the moment. I don't actually know if you can get mods on PS5, but I've got a few videos on on those if you uh, need some tips. The mod list is also in the description for this series. But yeah, welcome to the party. A lot of people are, are like getting off on complaining about everything at the moment. Um, I do get a bit rambunctious myself, but... Uh, I have to say, you know, despite Keen's apparent lack of common sense when it comes to certain things, it's a good game. It's a good game. And they're never going to get it perfect, like everyone. They're never going to get it how everybody wants it, right? But I think sometimes people forget that it's just a, just a good game. I think it's a good game, anyway. I mean, a lot of people would disagree. You know... You're right to have that opinion, but it it's for it's like every game, you know. It's clicks with some people, don't click with others. But just give it a chance. Um, it's not it's not like a constant source of dopamine type of thing. You've really got to learn to enjoy the journey with a, with a game like this. If you can do that, you'll have a lot of fun. As I have had like four thousand hours of enjoyment now. Hang on a minute, where did we dock this? Was it the... Ah, yes, the, the human centipede of docking ports here. People keep asking if I've pubbed the Orville as well, but I've not pubbed it yet, purely because I do not want some poor fucker to build this thing in a survival world and then realise it's... Also, someone said I could do... How long have you been able to do this? I didn't... I... Hand on heart did not know this was a thing. I, d I genuinely didn't know that you could do this. 
I am astounded. Where's that fucking refinery? Mwah. Yeah, I genuinely, hand on heart, did not know you could open the ship menu on this side as well. Is that it? Is that all the iron we got? The fuck? No, okay. Whew, fucking hell. Oh no, I want the player one now. Right, yeah. Right. <laughs> I'm still learning new shit and it's been 4,000 hours. <laughs> so, yeah, the tutorials aren't great, if I'm being honest. Oh, they, they did just release a load of, like, new 20-second shorts. I don't know about them. They're kind of interesting. I feel like... I'm not sure if they were 20 seconds because they were, like, put them on TikTok or something. But I feel like you should really... Like, what they keep doing is they keep doing, like, little bits of tutorials here and there. So it means that new players have got to, like, literally piece together all these different videos rather than just having, like, a coherent, proper tutorial because there is so much shit to this game to wrap your head around. I mean, I did a couple of tutorial videos and I thought I went down to the basics, but still people confused. So you forget sometimes that, like, starting into a, this game can be genuinely difficult for people. Um, not, not saying that to put anyone down. I mean, like, in general, it can be confusing the way you use, like, this to get blueprints and stuff. It's, it's a sort of a foreign concept compared to some other games. I've not really seen it done to this extent before. Um, and the UI is... Interesting. So, no favours there. And then the lack of the tutorial is sort of the final nail in the coffin there, isn't it? I would love to get that. Mining transport, that's the big one, isn't it? It's got Gatling guns on it. Oh, wait, it's neutral. It's got two large refineries on it. Uh, no. No, no, no. Now is not the time, Lord Vader. Right, and then we'll have this. Oh, is there a docking port? Is... Oh, wait, yeah, 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 we can fit a docking port. Okay, I was going to say. Useless fucking ship connector if there's no docking port, isn't it? We could just put the large cog container under there, you know. It would, it would fit. Nah. I've got a better idea for it anyway. Jack, we can get like a little boost with the jetpack if we jump. No. Good to good to know. Oh. Don't think it's normal for this jet. If you're new here, don't think it's normal for this jetpack either. Like normally, the jetpack is like I could go and fly up to that thing up there in orbit quite easily with the jetpack. So yeah, I just have a mod to make it more difficult because I have a f fetish for functionality. Where's the iron? Where is it? If you have any more tips like this inventory one, by the way, guys, please drop them below. I want to keep increasing my memory bank. It took me forever and a day to uh, actually listen to people about the... God, we've nearly gone through all them steel plates. Fucking hell, alright. Yeah, about the build planner thing. To be fair, we're going to be knocking, knocking holes into this anyway. It's not like it's gonna look like this at the end, so. Just realised I've completely lost track of time and I oh, 
have no idea how long I've been recording for. So this episode may be longer or shorter. I'm trying to aim for like 45 minutes now. They keep getting longer, but I don't wanna I don't wanna get to the point where people can't watch it in one sitting, you know what I mean? Hmm, well. I mean 45 minutes is a pretty long sitting, I guess. I don't know. Mind you, I I don't know if you guys have seen this. There's a TV show, right, called... TV show and a movie, actually, called Snowpiercer. It's about this... Uh, I don't know if you've seen it, by the way, because it's fucking great. I think I think it's great, anyway. Probably like, oh, it's absolutely awful. I thought it was fucking great. I watched the movie. Um, it's got Chris Evans in it. It's about, like, global warming is, like, a thing. <laughs> Typical sort of situation, yeah. Um, and they tried to cool the planet down by spraying this chemical into the atmosphere, and it works way too well. Um, and it freezes the planet. And the only survivors left are on this train. Uh, the train's called Snowpiercer, and it like does laps around the planet um, on this big track. Fucking huge train. So in the movie, it's like a hundred cars long, I think. And then in the series, it's over a thousand. So it's a fucking big bastard train. Um, the movie is good, but the series is oh, top notch. I've not even finished it yet, so no spoilers. But I sat my ass on that couch, and I watched like a whole two seasons in a row. That's like twenty hours of Jesus, twenty hours. Fucking hell, twenty hours of of series content. But it was good. You know, sometimes you need that. Do you know what I mean? Sometimes you just need to sit down and just f do nothing for a considerable amount of time. You just got to remember to not feel guilty of not doing anything. Because you've got to have... You know what I mean? Whoa, what the fuck? Alright, you've got to have, you've got to have some downtime. People forget that. Alright. Or I forget that. I don't know if that's a me problem. Uh. Mm. Yeah, we want air locks on this. This needs to be pressurised. Can we jump a block? No. We could blow... Now we need that. Piss. Are they construction components? I forego. Oh, I don't know. Can't be interior plates because I've got one. Whoa, steady tiger. And then we'll put one like there. Do the catwalk. Oh no! Okay, just a little bit of scaffolding, you know. No. Okay, we're out of steel plates anyway. Look at the Orville. Doesn't she look magnificent? What a beautiful ship. We built that. We sure did. Alright. I can't remember the last time I got this far in a survival world either. I mean, you've seen it. I take my time with things. So I like to enjoy it. I can't remember the last time I got to a different planet. So it's quite... Fight survival is really fun at the start, and then it sort of levels off for a little bit. But then if you give it time, it catches back up, and it gets fun again. Partially why I made that uh, survival motivation video. Yeah, okay, so I'll have an airlock here. Yeah. Do like a... Uh... Ooh, 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 ooh. We could use the new interior walls. These ones. Uh, 
Nah, that way. I thought that could look really cool, actually. Then we'll have doors. Come out here. This will be a catwalk area. Then we'll have the landing pad. So we'll plant the connector here. Obviously we'll touch this up a little bit when we get a uh, when we get a moment um, and then we'll pipe it down obviously pipe the rover up as well we need a connector for that uh, 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 and then I feel like we should have a uh, maybe just a window here just, just so we can gaze upon the rover it's going to be so tricky to do the uh, greblin on this, you know. Energy critical. Yeah, because I know what I want to do. But I don't know if I have the strength to do... No. But it's just going to be... It's going to be a pain in the ass. Let's head back into the Orville. Fuck, I didn't turn the mining ship off. I didn't put, put enough sugar in this brew either. Fuck. Also, someone's pointing out why I didn't make this um, automated. Which makes sense. Uh, main reason being... I, I cannot be bothered. I, I'm not forced about venting two blocks of air or whatever it is. Let me turn this off. Alright, let's get these steel plates. Oh, a bit of daylight. A bit of, uh, yeah, daylight. God, we're chewing through these steel plates. What's the base looks ass? It's all grey. <laughs> right. Let's get this, uh... I don't know how this is going to look, and it's really, really hard to... Ooh, 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 I have an idea. Mmm. Yes. I have an idea. Not sure how I'm going to do this though. So. Yes. Hmm. Hang on, I'm, my mind is, is processing, but I, ha I have an idea. Don't want to go too far out with it, like there. Actually, it made more sense to be over here, wouldn't it? Urgh, but that's not the staircase, that's so annoying. No, it would just make more sense for it to be over here. Ah, fuck. Hmm, this is fucking annoying me. I suppose that doesn't look too bad though, does it? Hmm. Why can't I put that there? But I could put it there. Hey? Eh? That not make any sense, it's connected. That's 
fucking weird. That's cursed. Might work though. Yeah, that kind of does work actually. Oh, the jetpack doesn't though. But then there's got to be another. Hmm. I think I can make this work. It's going to require a little bit of finesse. I think I can make this work. It's hard to describe what I'm picturing right now, but you've just got to trust me on this. Just got to trust me. What I'm trying to do is build like a flight observatory area, a flight deck. Like a control tower. So we'd have the bit up here, and then this would be like another, another area. Windows and stuff so you can see out. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just I'm trying to make this thing not look too boxy at the same time though. So I feel, I feel like I need a way to snuff that out. But at the same time, you know, it's kind of like a modern piece. I don't really know how to describe it. Like a modern architectural sort of thing. It doesn't have to look perfect any stretch of the imagination but I just want it to look decent let's get a set of stairs there as well just don't know about the whole two times stair thing but I guess we'll deal with it Sort that out later. Well, actually, ideally, I want this to all be uh, glass or windows. Kind of want it to be like indented as well, but I don't know what the right block is. Maybe that one. Oh. <laughs> Don't know why I made that noise.
Hmm. That's the basic gist. I might try and use those round windows, you know. Let's see how they would fit. They'd fit quite nicely, actually. About like I'm trying to visualize it, but it's quite difficult. What about like an inclined one like that? Like a bubble window. Something centered would be perfect. But they've only got armor panels for that. Hmm. I think flat circular is the best way to go, to be honest. Right, what do you need to place windows? Girders. Got some girders, right? Yeah. Okay. Energy low. Fuck. Charge me batteries. God, it takes forever. Right. Let's go see what these windows look like. Have a little bit of a play around with it here. So I'm thinking... We have to greeble around this, obviously, and it'll be a bit of a <laughs> be a bit of work. But it has to be the one by ones. Oh no, I've not used the wrong one, have I? I think I have. Piss. Then we could introduce some shape. Finally. This is what I mean about sort of playing around with it, you know. Oh wait, hang on a minute. No, no, no. <laughs> Put that... There. Oh no! And then... These. And I've got no idea what I'm going to do on the end bit. I'll figure that out though. Climb back up here. Yeah, because there's. Ugh, correct me if I'm wrong, but there's not a block for that. that one. Maybe. Oh, oh, oh. Nah. Nah. Fuck. That sort of works, but I 
have to sort of change up the base for that. Nah. Ah, tricky one. Okay, we'll... We'll do this for now. Right, it's got a bit more of like a contour to it. It's not a block. It's progress, people. Progress. Upgrades, people. Upgrades. And then we'll, we'll have a have a roof on this, obviously. I'm just thinking... Honestly, I'm just thinking this. With a wrap around, like we did on the landing pad. Oh, I know this is very resource intensive, but we've got plenty of steel points. Yeah, I think that I think that works to be honest. Um, and then just do a wrap around, just like a basic style. Keep keep the keep the pattern the same, sort of thing, you know. As the landing pad. Why does it go all the way out there? Is it? There is four blocks. Oh! Fantastic. All the puzzle pieces fit together. Now, it may look a bit top-heavy. Okay. You may be thinking, it looks like the, the base is wearing a hat. You'd be correct. However, I've not greebled the lower half, you see. I've thought ahead. I've planned ahead. Something I don't often do, but we've uh, planned ahead this time. Oh no. Oh no! We're out of mind. Anyway, that's the problem we're going to have to solve next time because of that. that's it for this episode, guys. If you enjoyed, please like, comment, and subscribe to support the channel. And as always, take care, everybody. <laughs>